All right, Marcus, looks like you're slated to be the number one right guard. You got your feet wet last year. Yeah. Tell us where you're at and maybe how you see yourself developing this year. Uh, I feel like I'm developing pretty well. It's been a long off season of just hard work, extra work after you know every lift and every, uh, every throwing session. But I feel like I'm at a good spot right now with a lot of ways to go. I want to be the best player that I can be overall. And, you know, I want to learn from all the older guys and sponge up everything that I can. But I feel like I'm at a good, pretty good spot, but still got a ways to go. How much did the taste of experience motivate you in the offseason? It was good. It was good. I felt like the, the, the lack of experience was more of the taste for me. I wanted to get in there, but I know they wanted to redshirt me, so I was more patient with my playing time. But I feel like, you know, that couple of games that I got in just really made me want to, you know what, I feel like I did pretty good during those times and want to keep getting better. But it definitely gave me a lot of spark, a lot of motivation. One of those games was at Notre Dame. Talk mm -hmm. about that. That game was very crazy. It was, I mean, very large environment, a lot of a lot of noise, a lot of good colors in the crowds. I mean, I took a couple of visits there in high school, but playing there was actually pretty sweet. But mm -hmm. looking forward to more big games ahead. You know, uh, athletic-wise, I know you were a heck of a high school basketball player. Um, yeah. Just, just talk about maybe your your athletic ability, and maybe how that enhances your your skill set as an offensive lineman. Oh, uh, for me, I really take pride in my athleticism. I like to get downfield and make blocks and do other things, you know, that some people can. I like to show my athleticism. I feel like that separates me, you know, from most offensive linemen. Is my ability to run and move fast and get downfield on open blocks and screens and stuff like that. And you could play some tackle too, right? Yeah. Uh, in the spring, I was tackled the whole time, and I felt like I did a pretty good job at tackle. So I feel like, and I've been taking some reps now during camp at tackle, so I feel like I could fill in for both if needed. Just the competition aspect, you know, with the two transfers mm -hmm. coming in, adding to it, just what, what is it like every day, just trying to hold on to your spot it's and fun. compete for your spot? It's fun. I mean, those guys are, you know, all brothers, and it's no lost love there with competition. And it's just all fun to come out here and just grind every day and see everybody get better every day and as a unit and know mm -hmm. that if one person goes down, yeah, we got depth and I know that person, I trust that person can fill in a step up. How much more motivation does it give the offensive line when there's a ton of weapons on this offense the way there is? It, it makes everybody happy, you know, it, like when compared to past years, we're starting to get more push off the ball and we're starting to see more big plays on offense. It, it makes everything more worth it and more exciting when you're out here and it just you see more smiles and everybody's more excited, making more noise, and it's just a good feeling, you know what I mean? What do you learn from a guy like Spencer, your counterpart on the other side? I, just, I learned from Spencer, his technique. His technique is very good, he's very strong, and I like to just watch how he does it, watch him beat you know, the older guys and anybody else, he's, he's a really good guard. And you know, I like to take, take Spencer's punch, his punches, you are you are the young pup, man. I mean, you got Craig's a redshirt junior, yeah, Harvard's a junior. I'm a young guy, you know. People make fun of me because I'm only 19, <laughs> but I don't. I feel like I don't look the part. I come out here and act the part, you know. So I just take what I can, learn as much as I can as well. Why did you shave your head? Oh, I, <laughs> long story. I was at home and I was like, hey, you know, you shape it up a little bit, cut it down, and it just took too much off. <laughs> Way too much. I was upset, but it's not but too when, bad. But when you know Gus is shaving his head, another guy oh, is shaving his head. I wouldn't shave my head. My, <laughs> my hair was not coming off. Nah. <laughs> I told them they were all asking me, hey, "What?" You? Nope. <laughs> nope. Not doing it. Any more? <laughs>